My friend told me about this last week. If you have ever had those thoughts before, then you've already on your way to mastering a very common and important reading strategy. In this short video, we are going to explore what it means to activate prior knowledge. This video is sponsored by the Center for Language and Culture at President University. So in order to help the BBB channel grow, give this video a thumbs up and do not forget to smash the purple pineapple right in the corner to subscribe to this channel. So what is prior knowledge? Prior knowledge is the use of what we already know to help understand something new. Basically, it means to brainstorm or tap into our memory. So before we start anything, whether it is a book, a video, or an experience, we need to spend some time to think about what we already know about the topic. Prior knowledge will be unique to each person and experience. So you might know a lot when you begin reading a book, but you might not know when you start reading a different book. Sometimes you might remember a lot about specific details from where you left out. Another time, you might only remember a little bit of information. It doesn't matter how much you already know before you begin. In fact, the more you read, the more prior knowledge you create for the future. What is important for you to do is that you make an effort to activate your prior knowledge every time you sit down to read whether you are at the beginning, in the middle, or in the end of a text. So why is prior knowledge important? So if you're just like me, the type of student who can read a paragraph but then cannot remember what you've just read when you finished, part of the problem might be that you are not prepared when you begin reading. Our muscles need to stretch before we do sports. In the same way, our brains need to warm up before working. Think of our brain like a muscle. Just like a muscle that needs to be exercised to get stronger, our brain needs to practice to read, think, and remember. And just like an athlete that stretches his or her muscles before starting to play sport, our brain needs to warm up before working. Activating prior knowledge prepares our brains to read. Prior knowledge tells our brain to focus on what we're about to read. When we think about what we already know, it also gives us a chance to review previously learned information, ask questions, and make predictions about what we're going to read. In this way, prior knowledge can help guide our brains as we read. Our reading can clarify information we didn't quite understand before or it can provide us with new details. We will be more aware of these changes if our brain was already focused on these ideas. So how do we use our prior knowledge correctly? Using our prior knowledge effectively is the simplest thing we can do as readers. We need to ask ourselves what we already know about this. The answer always comes from our prior knowledge. However, if nothing comes to mind right away, you might need to work a little harder to train your brain how to think. You can do this by looking at smaller parts of the text to see if there's anything you already know. Here are some examples of what you might think about when you activate prior knowledge. If you are reading a fiction text, like a novel or a short story, you might ask yourself these questions. What do I already know about the story? Do I know about the author? What does the title tell me? What did I get the last time I read? And if you're reading a nonfiction text, such as textbook, news, article, or a brochure, you might ask yourself these questions. What kind of text is this? What does the title tell me? What do I know about the topic? What does the introduction tells me about? What is my purpose of reading it? Little reminder for ourselves, just like anything, the more you practice, the better you will be at it. 
For this reason, we want to make it a habit to stop and think about prior knowledge every time we read. We need to make it part of our reading ritual. Whether you're reading for class, reading for pleasure, or some other reasons. Prior knowledge should be a strategy that you apply everywhere. Now that we have a good understanding on what prior knowledge is, why it is important, and how to use it, let's take a look at some examples. Let's say your teacher assigns you to read a chapter from an English book. So you see the title, Academic Writing Skills, for and against essay. Now, you might not think you know anything about this topic, but you might be wrong. Do you recognize the word essay? Can you think of what elements that are in an essay? If you did, you have activated your prior knowledge. So in this case, you can think about the elements needed in an essay, such as topic, paragraphs, introduction, body, and conclusion. Then as you read this chapter, you are going to keep in your mind what essay means and then what for and against essay specifically mean. We are going to have more practice on this. So if you're reading a newspaper and saw this title, Amazon was built for the pandemic. So let's see what comes to your mind. You might know that Amazon is an online shopping platform based in the US. And of course, you know that US is the United States. So you already narrow things down. You might also recognize the word pandemic. The word pandemic is among the most popular word at the moment. As you know, that pandemic means disease that spreads all over the world. Because we are in it right now. So after reading the title, you might think about an online shopping platform in the US that people use during the global pandemic. Because as we know, they have limited time to go shopping. If you have any of these thoughts, you have activated your prior knowledge and prepared your brain to read. Alright, let's try the last exercise. Now it's your turn. So what comes to your mind when you hear this book entitled Dr. Sleep by Stephen King? Of course, you need to think about what you know about this. So here are some clues if you're having trouble. You need to ask yourself these questions. Is this book fiction or nonfiction? Do you know the author? Is this book adapted to another format, such as a movie? Do you think people like it? Is this book for children? And so on. If you have answered any of those questions, you have activated your prior knowledge. Now let's make a brief summary of what we have just discussed. Prior knowledge is the use of what we already know to help understand something new. Activating our prior knowledge prepares our brain to read. So we need to make it a habit to think of prior knowledge every time we read by asking what do I already know about this topic? And in the beginning, we might need to train our brain on how to think by asking ourselves about more specific questions, for example, about the title, the author, the subject, and the previous reading that we did. So we come to an end of our discussion about prior knowledge. If you have any question about this strategy, feel free to watch the video again. Or you may also ask your teacher when you return the class. I know that most of you are still having online class right now. Or you can also email CLC at clc at president.ac.id to get assistance from your language buddies. I will see you in other books, bags, and blooms or BBB academic videos. Stay safe, take care of yourself and each other. Bye-bye.